you need to have out several things. First thing you need to get out is the hard copy of your summary paper because you are going to give that to me and I'm going to redistribute them around the classroom for you to get feedback from classmates. You have to have the hard copy of your paper. If you did the per bonus activity, you need to have your activity and the handout for your poster stapled together to hand in to me. That's due today too. You also need to get out a four by six note card because we're going to have a check-in at the end of the class today. I'm going to tell you what it is now so you can get it done and turn it in on your way out the door. So for while everybody's giving stuff out, um, I'll tell you again, you need to have two summary peer review forms and one for the critique paper. You have two summary peer review forms because you're going to complete one for the person whose review you're doing today. And then you're going to make a copy of that form and turn it into me. So I'm going to see what peer review feedback you gave your classmates. Okay. That's how you get credit for doing the peer review today. So you'll make a copy of that form, fill in all the same blocks and everything, and turn that into me before you leave. So before you leave today, things I should have from you. Your perk assignment, if you did it, the note card check-in, and your peer review sheet. Yeah. I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but what if we, because there's so much there, what if we accidentally miss something? Are you going to be very strict? No, about everybody, everybody is, this is probably the first time you've ever done a peer review for an assignment like this. Everybody, our, under, our mutual understanding is that everybody is doing the very best they can. Okay. So, some people are going to give great feedback. Some people aren't going to give such great feedback. Some people are going to have done the assignment really well. Some people will have not done it very well. Okay. Our job is to be as constructive and helpful and positive as we can to help our classmates do better. And maybe you feel overwhelmed by the task. You're like, wow, this person did a great job, and I'm not a very strong writer. I don't think there's anything I can do. You know what? Check it for API style. Those are all things that you know there's specific things they need to be able to do. I have examples that you can take a look at if you want to double check it. Check for spelling errors. If there are sentences that aren't clear to you, let them know. I don't think that this is very clear. I don't understand what you mean by this. Um, or if they write a sentence and they do it's just a great sentence. You can write nice in the, in the margin. You know, you can say positive stuff too. Proofreading isn't just about no, 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 circle, highlight, frowny face, right? I mean, we're, we're trying to help each other do better. Okay, so uh, everybody has their perk assignment if you did it. Hand it towards the middle one, please. Perk assignment if you did it. Hand it towards the middle. Congratulations to our very own Sarah who took second place overall at Perk. Yes! Well done. Sarah uh, Perk, she's pretty awesome. Okay, oh, got another one? All right. Perk, thank you. Okay. You're stapling like mad. Thank you. That's good. Okay. So now, if I would like the hard copy of your paper. Please hand those down to the middle. The hard copy of your paper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. People who don't staple. You are the worst. You frustrate me so much. No staples. Everybody's paper. Okay, so everybody who is sitting down right now has turned in a hard copy of their paper. If you didn't turn in a hard copy of your paper, you don't get to do the peer review. Okay, you can't peer review if you don't have anything that you let somebody else peer review. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you won't be able to do the peer review activity. Yeah. Um, if there's somebody who you want to work with who's willing to do one side by side with you, then you can do that. Okay. All right. You are not Kristen. You are not Andrea. You are not Lucy. You are not. You are not Joseph. You are not.
Supposed to only say running hell on the first page. The, the yeah. Okay, so right. now you're going to go through the peer review checklist, summary checklist. There are uh, copies up here if you need summary checklist. I made a couple changes so you're better off using this new printed, organized, slightly bit differently checklist than the one printed offline. Okay. Your job is going to be to go through the paper. You will write on the paper. Okay, you're going to write notes on the paper. You're going to check, put checks in the box for the review for each thing on the list. Everything on there for APA style, for content, and for organization. You need to indicate whether the person did it and did it really well, put a, put a mark in the plus box. If they did it, but it could be a little bit better, put a mark in the check box. If they did it, but it needs substantial revision, put a mark in the minus box. And if you can't find that thing, put a mark in the empty set box. Okay, I don't see this in your paper. And okay, maybe it's there, you're just saying you didn't see it. On the proofreading side, it says there's three boxes next to each thing. Every time you find a mistake, put a mark in one of those boxes. Once you, if you find the same kind of mistake three times, you don't have to mark it anymore. That's why there's only three boxes. Please keep in mind, my policy is that when I get the revised version of your paper on Thursday, okay, you're going to submit the revision on Thursday. When I get that, if I hit 10 marks on this list, if I hit 10 marks, I stop grading your paper and I give it back to you. Okay. So it really matters that you proofread your paper well. Now, you will not be evaluated for proofreading on the draft you submitted for today. But you have 48 hours to make that thing proofread within an inch of its life. If you don't remember what some of these things are, there was a proofreading handout I gave you at the beginning of the semester. You can download it um, from uh, Desire to Learn, which I've learned is going to be changed to something like Bright, what? Bright Space. Like they're going to change the name every year just so I have to go through and change every single handout. Um, all right, so. Uh, you can download another version. It's called the Proofreading Overview, and it has descriptions and examples of every single thing on this list. Javier, is there any other advice you would like to give the students about proofreading or giving feedback? Um, I mean, just be as, uh, I guess, thoughtful as you can, and yeah. Don't and, if you, and if you have questions, you can raise your hand and oh, say, yeah. is it supposed to be like this? Is it supposed to say running head on the first page in front of the running head? The answer is yes. Is it supposed to say running head on all the subsequent pages in front of the running head? The answer is no. Okay. Does it have to have a page number? Yes. Are we supposed to have an abstract? No. Do I need to have an author's note? No. Do I need to have a references page? Yes. Right? So if you have questions, just ask. That was a good time if you're if you're like, do we need to do this? And I'll let you know. Are we supposed to put statistics in here? No. 
Is the dependent variable scores on Dance Dance Revolution? No. Okay, so if, you, if you're confused, if you have questions as you're doing this, just ask. I'm going to be here the whole time. Javier's here, um, and we can uh, help you out. I also have some handouts up here with examples of APA-style title page, references page, and introduction, the start of a paper, so you can see what the insight should look like. I've got stuff on citation, and I've got the whole Purdue OWL APA guidelines printed out right here if you want to come double check something. If you don't have your APA manual with you. Um, I saw you have a super cool thing that's like, it's got APA style. Well, but, but I bet you can find one for sixth edition. But it's got, you know, anything you can use as a good reference, those are all great. You are allowed to use technology today. So if you want to um, use your computers, use your tablets, um, if you want to um, log in and look at the APA website and the Purdue website while you're doing this, that's fine. All right? Uh, we're going to go for about an hour, and then we're going to stop, and I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the critique paper, which is the next paper coming up after this. Yeah, questions? Once we do the peer review, are we going to get to talk and explain our, um, our review to the person whose paper it is? If we have time, if we don't have time in class today, then you can do it in lab. Yeah, try, try, yeah, try to say it yeah, just in case. Try to, to write as much as you can. You will find you're thinking, it's only one page paper with a title page and a references page. How hard can this be? It's challenging getting feedback. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. So what you're going to write on the note card for the end of class for today is when you've done, after you've done this whole thing and you've written everything out and you've given your personal feedback, you're going to write on your note card. First you're going to put your name and then you're going to the date. And then you're going to tell me something that you learned today from doing the activity. Maybe you learned, wow, I learned I'm a really good writer. Or, wow, I learned I'm not a very good writer. Or, wow, I learned I don't know anything about APA style citation. Or, wow, I learned I know APA style citation really well. So uh, I just want you to give me some feedback on what you learned from engaging in the peer review activity that you didn't know before you did it. So yeah. we see some wrong with you want us to like, actually write on their paper? Yeah, write on their paper. You, you are uh, their editor. So you're trying to help them out. Yeah. All right, go ahead.